Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I'm going to take time to talk about Tyrese and his rant on social media. A few days ago, the brother got on social media and he was crying like a baby, uh, crying about possibly losing his daughter and all this and that uh, because he's going through some serious issues with his ex-wife. And also he complained about no one being there to support him. He said he had all these millionaire and billionaire friends, but nobody's standing with him. And he also talked about child support, how he pays $13,000 a month in child support. And he said, what more do you want from me? And throughout the video, he kept pointing to his shirt. Like he had this shirt that says uh, Shayla Rocks and that's his daughter's name. And he kept rubbing his shirt and saying, that's my heart and all, my baby and all this and that. I can't lose my baby. Don't take her away from me. And he started crying. And usually like when somebody is emotional, you can feel it. You can feel their emotions. And for me, like I sympathize with people when they're emotional like depending on what it is you know for the most part but I didn't feel anything when this guy was crying like first of all you know one of the first things that we learn as men growing up is to man up as I said in a prior video about uh, Van Jones that's one of the first things that we learn as young boys to man up to suck it up and not to cry like a little punk that's, that's an unmanly trait to get on social media crying your eyes out like a baby. That's not a good look. It's not a good look for black men. Now, the reason why this man doesn't have custody of his daughter right now is because his ex-wife filed for a temporary restraining order and that order was granted. His ex-wife accuses him of physically abusing his daughter. According to the allegations, he allegedly put his knees on his daughter and held her hands while he beat her. And she complained of pain and all this and that. So that's the allegation. And because of that, they went to court and got a, a restraining order against him. And from what I understand, there are probably further proceedings to determine well, who will have custody of the, the daughter and all that kind of stuff. So this is a very serious situation. So after that injunction or temporary restraining order was entered against Tyrese, this man actually flew a plane over his daughter's school with a banner. And now the ex-wife is claiming that he's violated this temporary restraining order. This woman has accused him of being bipolar, of being unstable, and et cetera, et cetera. And by him going on this video, crying and acting irrational the way he was acting, that feeds that narrative that he is not fit to take care of his daughter. It feeds this narrative that there's something wrong with him. And you know, as I looked at him crying and stuff like that, it didn't even seem like real tears, man. It seemed like, acting to me you know he is an actor you know most people know he's an actor he's been in some major films like um transformers and fast and furious he got his star in that film baby boy and the, the funny thing is like he is acting like that character from that movie baby boy like a baby a grown man child that's what he is acting like in that video it's a shame man it's a disgrace that, you know, that he would act like this. And again, you know, it just feeds that narrative and may hurt his case. Like this is a man with all these resources, you know, a wealthy man with power and influence. He doesn't have to get on social media and cry publicly about his problems. He doesn't have to do that in order to fight. I mean, unlike these weak ass black men on YouTube who all they do is whine and cry about women whine and cry you know because they didn't feel powerless they feel helpless they feel like they are the victims of this evil black woman in their minds and their twisted little minds that's the way they see things they don't have these resources i mean this guy has attorneys that could fight his case to protect his interests there's no need for him to get on social media crying like a little bitch 
<laughs> for real, man. Just to be blunt, man. There's no need for him to do that. He should let his lawyers handle it and keep a low profile and get the counseling that he needs to get his mind right. You know, I, I hope he gets his gets everything together. You know, I don't know if these allegations are true. I don't know whether or not they're true, but they're serious allegations. I don't know whether or not there was an ex parte hearing or if there was a hearing where he participated in the hearing. But I do know this. I mean, a judge will not enter a temporary restraining order if there's no basis for doing so. So apparently his daughter may have testified about what had happened, what she alleged has happened or and his ex-wife test probably testified as well about what the daughter told her so this is a very serious situation man and the funny thing is like this guy he in a lot of ways is like a lot of these people on youtube like he has complained about women you know has complained about black women in particular said disrespectful things about black women and he's uh also talked about you know how he's when he got remarried and you know married this this uh lady i think she's latino or something like that i don't know all the history but she's not black he called her african queen to taunt black women and this is just typical of these weak black men like the first thing they do is they they blame black women for everything you know, <laughs> blame black women for everything. And they don't take any kind of personal responsibility or accountability. And it seems like that's what's happening with this guy, Tyrese, man. You know, he's blaming his ex-wife, saying that she's lying on him. And she may very well be lying on him. I don't know. But I know one thing. A judge will not enter some temporary restraining order if there's no kind of evidence. If there's no basis for doing so. So we'll see what happens in the courts, man. I just hope that, um, you know, the brother gets his thing together. You know, I wish the best for him and his family, but man, it's just not a, a good look for the black community to have his, his brother on here crying like a baby over these issues, you know, continuing to promote this idea that somehow he's mentally unstable. You know, who does that kind of stuff? I mean, who would rent out a plane to fly a banner over their daughter's school when there's a temporary restraining order against them. It's not a good look. And you know, the, a couple of things that he mentioned just made me think about other things. I mean, he talked about like how he has all these millionaire and billionaire friends. And it just made it clear to me, like despite all the fame and the wealth that this guy has, like he really doesn't have true happiness, man. He really doesn't have like some real, real friends, you know, some friends that are 100, you know what I'm saying? You know, he, like a lot of people, they like the fact that you're famous or that you got money, they love you then, but when you're going through something, when you're having troubles, that's when you find out who your real friend, friends are. And apparently a lot of these people around him are fake friends. And you know, there's a lesson to be learned in that, man. There's something to, to reflect on in there. And if this woman is actually making up lies about this guy, you know, if she's just made up this story about him abusing this one, his daughter, man, that's terrible, man. That would be horrible. But I don't know if that's the case, man. I, I can't really speak on it. But even if that is the case, you know, one thing that you have to think about is like the choices that we make in these relationships, man. We really have, like he was married to this woman. I mean, you really have to vet people before you marry them, man. Or before you even get into a relationship with them. You gotta know what their character is. Like too often we're just drawn to the physical. Too often we're drawn to see only the good things about a person without fully vetting them and seeing what their character is like. If this woman really did lie on him, that says a lot about her character. And it says a lot about Teresa's failure to make the right decision in terms of marriage. And we all make mistakes, you know, without a doubt. You know, sometimes people will present one image of who they are when in fact they are something else, you know, when they're putting on a charade and all that kind of stuff. So you may not know the real person until much later and stuff when they truly reveal themselves. 
But, you know, that just makes it clear that we really have to vet who we date and who we marry and all that kind of stuff, thoroughly vet them so that we make the right decision. Because for now on, you know, this guy for the rest of his life, he is tied to this woman, whether he wants to be or not, because of his daughter. So for the rest of his life, that woman is going to be involved in his life. And that's something we, we have to think about, man. You know, you got to reflect on when you decide to not only just be in a marriage with somebody, but before you even decide to lay down with them. Because if you have a child, you know, the unplanned pregnancy or something like that, you're going to be tied to that person for the rest of your life. And now this brother is paying $13,000 per month in child support. And I could do a whole nother video on child support. You know, I think that, I mean, if you bring a child into this world, world, obviously you should be responsible for taking care of that child financially, emotionally, you know, spiritually and mentally. That's your responsibility. And child support is a part of that responsibility. But the thing is with the child support system, you know, there's room for abuse, you know, a lot of times some women use it as a means to come up financially. It's not even about taking care of the child. That's a very real issue. So that just makes it even clear, like why we need to make better choices in terms of who we lay down with, who we are in relationships with, who we marry. So I just had to share these thoughts, man. Tell me what y'all think about that situation. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.